Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video guys, I will show you how you can get the black and white theme on your windows. So without any further ado, if you guys are interested in the current wallpaper which I have set on my desktop, then make sure that you check out the first link in the video description below. Let's get started. Now the first thing is the actual wallpaper. Now for this tutorial, I will show you this black and white wallpaper which I also have in the thumbnail image and I will also put this link in the video description below for it and make sure that you pause the video right now and go to the video description and click on this exact link. Once on this page, you will click on download original wallpaper in 5k resolution. Now, once you have the file or the image, you will go to your downloads folder inside the file explorer. Now, here you should see the image. In this case, it's called 410244 and make sure that you select it by clicking on it and it has this blue hue. Now, once you have it selected, you will click here set as background and this should change right now the image to the black and white image which you got from the link in the video description. Now if you want the exact same wallpaper for your lock screen as well you will navigate to the start menu here you will go to the settings and here go to the personalization. Now here click on lock screen and click browse photos. Now you should see this pop up and here you will navigate to the downloaded image. Click on downloads folder and click on the image here and click on choose picture. Now if I lock the computer, you should see this wallpaper as well on your lock screen. Let's move on to the actual taskbar. So for the taskbar, we are going to use start all back, which is a really, really nice tool for the Windows 11. Unfortunately, it isn't free. It's only, I believe, $5 on this website. And I think it's totally worth it for what it actually does. So if you want, you can also try it out for 30 days. But I think think if you like it so much then you can also just pay five dollars for it so here on this page you will click on download here and once you have the .exe file you will click on the setup file like so inside your downloads folder and here i will click on install for everyone and here i will select yes now you should see some changes being made inside the taskbar now here i will click on proper 11 and the most important part here is that we navigate here to the taskbar. Now here I will select combine taskbar buttons, make sure that this is selected to always hide labels. Then I will select here centered task icons. I will select here segments and I will also enable dynamic transparency. Now for the segments option, you will need to set this to just central segment. And this is pretty much it for the start all back. Make sure that you go to the website if you like this program so much, and then you can just buy it for only $5. And you can see here that it has about 100 days left until the trial actually expires. Now let's move on to the actual widgets. So for the widgets, we are going to use the rain meter. Here you will click on download to get the .exe file for the rain meter. Once you have it, you will click on it on the actual installer and you should get this pop-up click on ok here click on next here and then install here and once you are done you will click on finish here and you should get some of the pre-installed rain meter widgets right away on your desktop so you will right click on them and click on unload skin and you will just then repeat the same process for the every single pre-installed skin so we are here left with the clean sheet or the clean desktop without any widgets so now we are going to install or download a few of the widgets for our desktop the first one is called actually the mont rain meter theme and you will find it on this link in the video description below. So here you will scroll down and click on download and you will get this uh, Mont Rain Meter skin file. And once you have it, you will navigate to your downloads folder and double left click on this uh, Mont file and make sure that you have the Rain Meter actually installed because if you don't, this skin won't install. So here you will click on install and now you should get a few of the widgets immediately on your desktop. Now for the text color, which is this widget, which is actually the main widget, which we are going to use on our desktop of this Mont Rain Meter pack. Here I will select the text color and I will change it to the black 
and click on OK. And this is pretty much it. Click on close settings here and you will right now unload a few of the pre-installed Monskin widgets from your desktop. So you will just need to right click on them and click on unload skin and just repeat the process on every other skin as well from the month pack. Now you should be left with only this skin on your desktop. So we will need to still modify it a bit. So I will right click on it, click on here to edit the skin. And now you should see the notepad open and here we have the skin on top. Now down below you will scroll down until the end of the file and we will need to delete a few of the code here. So make sure that you delete meter date, make sure that you leave here meter day, delete meter 12 hour clock as well as delete 24 hour clock. This is pretty much it. Make sure that you are only left with the meter day here. And then on top, you will also change the scale. So I will change this to 1.50. And then on top, you will click on file and click here save. And this is pretty much it. You will now just right click on the this skin and click on refresh skin and put it somewhere on your desktop like so. Make sure that it's somewhere in the middle. And this is pretty much it for the Mont widget pack. Now let's move on to the MII power. So this is the next one which we are going to use just to repeat the process and download the skin from this website. And once you have the .rm skin file, you will navigate to your downloads folder and click on the MII power skin and click on the install. Now this skin shouldn't just pop out uh, out of the nowhere on your desktop. You will need to manually enable it. So make sure that you maximize the window so you will have the taskbar fully extended and then you will open the ray meter here in the system tray and once you are here you will click on MII power, click on power here and here you will select B for the black theme uh, or the black colored widget and the W for the white colored widget. I will select here W and I will double left click on it and you should see the skin on the top left corner of your screen and right now I will position it somewhere here at the bottom so what this skin actually does you can see here that you can restart your computer put it to the sleep or shut down your computer from this single widget which is really really cool now the next widget which we are going to install is called rain meter or monterey rain meter uh, and you will get it on this link from github now click on this file right here and then once you have the file you will navigate to your downloads folder and double left click on the monterey installer and here you will click on the install you should see this pop up here and i will enable here here the weather as well as the music widget now here under the appearance, make sure that you have selected here the blur and this is pretty much it. Now what I will do, I will position this player, music player widget here at the bottom near the taskbar and make sure that you right click on it and here select the wide option. Now if you want to configure which songs are being played from which player like Spotify or from your web browser, you can just right click here and then click on edit music and here make sure that you select here player which is currently set on default you will select whichever actually prefer i will select here spotify and then you will click on save and right now widget should resemble the music which is being played with the spotify client on your desktop now for the weather widget you will right click as well i will select here the small size of the widget and if you want to change the location you can select here edit weather and put your city right here and then you will click on save and right now I will place it somewhere here at the bottom right corner. And this is pretty much it for this setup. I hope you guys like it. Every single link for the program will be linked in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching and check out the wallpaper pack which I made by clicking the first link in the video description below. Thank you again for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.